And our theme today is to, is to see through the illusion to reality. To let go of the stories that we have come to believe to be true. Perhaps we even worship as being true. We give them a special place in our lives. But yet they're not. They're only stories. And what we wish to do today <clears throat> is to be willing, to be willing to let go of the story, <clears throat> of the identity that we have been holding on to, so that what we might discover our true self, our spiritual self, the Christ within. We know that there's only one life and that life is God and it is perfect. And it knows, and it knows that it knows. And what it knows is. There is a power in the universe that is some part of God itself that brings into manifestation, <clears throat> excuse me, into physical expression that which the divine mind thinks. So there are no dreams. There are no stories in the divine mind. What the divine knows, it is. This means that truth knows truth. It's not subjective nor relative, it is truth. It is. And that truth has created us out of itself. We are told that if we know the truth, it shall set us free. It shall set us free from our stories, from our myths, from the things that we believe to be so that just aren't so. So this very day then we accept <clears throat> divine guidance, divine revelation, divine wisdom as it reveals to us what we are what truth is. And we easily and joyfully release and let go of all of the old <clears throat> erroneous ideas about who we are, what we are, and the way things ought to be. We dedicate ourselves now to living in truth and letting that which is not true dissolve into the nothingness from which it came. We are grateful to know there's a power in the universe that responds to us according to our belief. And we release this treatment to that perfect law, knowing so certainly it is done, that we say together, and so it is.